Welcome to Comic School 101. Um, for some of you already know this and some of you don't know this, but I wrote a comic book um, and it is currently getting the final arts and stuff done and it's been a lot of fun. And um, yes, I wanted to share with everyone how I went about that, what steps I took from a beginner's perspective so that if you want to write a comic book or you're interested in how these things get put together, this is the place to start. Um, so let's begin. Step one, write a plot outline. So most of you probably have this awesome idea and you're really excited about it and you just want to write the story out. Or maybe you're not sure where you're actually going with the story, but you've got a concept down pat. So the first thing that I suggest everyone do, and I do this for novel writing as well as comic book writing, but the first thing that I do is I write a plot outline. For the sake of this video and this tutorial, I'm going to use James Bond's Casino Royale um, because I found it on Google. Um, so this is a plot outline of the series. Um, essentially speaking, you don't need a lot of detail because you'll figure that out later, but writing a plot outline will give you the foundation of the story so i won't read this whole thing but to give you an idea this is a movie that most of you have probably seen um but just as an example casino royale opens with james bond gambling at royal let in france amongst the gamblers in le chef and who is a soviet agent the story then flashes back to a briefing by m the head of the british secret service controls the trade union for the Soviets, but has stolen union money and invested it disastrously. Now his financial position is desperate and his only hope is to stake all of his remaining capital on a big win at the casino. M plans to stop this and bankrupt Le Chou -chou 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 -chou, destroying Soviet influence in the trade union. Bond is M's chosen man to execute the plan and he is one of the service's best gamblers. Vesper Lind is sent from headquarters to improve Bond's cover. A French agent, Rene Mathis, and Felix Lita of the CIA are also in position. Mathis warns Bond that the Soviets have blown his cover and he can expect resistance. Two assassins make a botched attack on Bond, but only succeed in killing themselves by accident. Bond and Le Chouffoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufoufouf
You've cried in your sleep. You've rewritten it. And here we are. The next thing you need to do is break it down. Separate the synopsis into sections. For a novel, this is where I would go chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and I would try to make sure that each chapter has a introduction, a conflict element or an action piece or some something along those lines, and then a resolution or a lead off to the next chapter. Um, you always want something interesting happening in a chapter. You don't have to worry about the details yet, but as you're breaking this down, think about how you want it to read the beginning, the middle, and the end of each chapter, because you really want to keep your audience engaged. For a comic book, this is where I break it down into issues. And then, and you don't have to do this in this step, that's later on, but from then, you would then break it down into pages. But... Um, this is where I'd have issue one, issue two, issue three. And as you can see, I've highlighted in this synopsis what I think those issues would be. Um, obviously, I didn't write this synopsis and I'm sort of working with what I've got. But when you write your synopsis, have that in mind because you will need to break it all down to get the best experience for your readers. Um, this will make the actual script writing process so much easier because when you look at the synopsis, you can go, OK, chapter one. And you can read the highlighted section of chapter one and then go and write it into comic book script, which we'll tackle in the next video. So get your story, get your synopsis, break it down and figure out exactly where your issues start and begin. This will make things so much easier in the future. Okay, so that concludes part one of my comic book writing process. Let's quickly go over those basic steps again. So step one, write an outline of your story beginning, middle and end. Doesn't have to be a lot of detail, but write it so that it's there. Step two, have some beta readers critique this synopsis. Take their feedback for what it is. Don't get too upset. It's constructive. It's to make this story the best it can be. Appreciate it for what it is. Step three, break down the story. Figure out the structure of which chapters go where, the beginning, the middle, the ends, and also if this is a comic book, which is what I'm currently writing, which is an issue, which issues you want. Stick around for part two. We'll be coming soon. That'll cover the script writing process which is very interesting and a lot of fun. And check out some other videos on this channel. They're not all like this. I'm pretty weird, but you might find something you enjoy. Thanks for sticking around. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this, if it helped you out, if you do anything differently. And um, I can't wait to see how this all goes. This is a bit of an experiment for me.